number seven. Okay, stay with Mike, Bill. Uh, here. More. Discuss that one. Hey, Bobby. Uh, <laughs> the reason I had to put on the agenda is, and this, of course, I've got it on the list for ARPA funds, uh, but we need to we need to kind of move forward with this. There is the Thread Bank is actually the owner now. We've got Civis Building on here, <laughs> but you know this is this is a business proposition. I don't want to leave them hanging and they've offered us the building they've offered us the first shot at the building uh, i don't know if they have other buyers lined up or not but i would i would personally prefer not to let that thing drag on and on we need to talk about making a decision on that uh, it's been through the buildings committee of course the buildings committee is virtually the same as this committee except for one member uh, Charlie Thacker's on, on the Buildings Committee and not on, on this committee. But some discussion, some direction as to how uh, how we need to move forward on that from this committee is kind of what I was looking for. If you have any questions about it, you know, I've got paperwork and, and such here. Uh, it's a five acre, 5.18 acre tract of land. Uh, value of um, tax appraisal value is 1.062 million dollars and they've got it listed for 655 they're offering it to us for 585 um, <coughs> and we just need discussion in some sort of direction some sort of feeling from the committee so it's not to get too deep into the operations of it, but i think it does speak to the needs of, of the building over the Churchill Center. Um, this, there's the building that you were talking about that was being used by a lot of people driving through, having drive through access. With the, and down here, with, with this new building and the Citizens Building, it would have the same drive through it, access. It does have a drive through. I think it has two or three lanes, possibly. Um, according to Mr. Prophet, the first or second time that I went up there to look at the building, I think they're all operational too. The, because the access to the Churchill building, I think, is the biggest problem that we face in that in that facility. And there is the, I mean, with where the office is, with the location of the slope of the, the lane, you really do have to jump out of the car to, to get to that. And so I think that the, one of the biggest things that this building can offer and come to the committee is that we're, we're providing the same services to the other in the county as well for that, because this, if we're continuing to make the investment, we're essentially just adding on to Church Hill's building that we're not owning, that's going to cost more in improvements than we'll pay for this building. It, you know, with the land and the things that have come with it, I mean, I almost feel like it, it makes more sense to, to let's move forward with it because of the, the fact of our facilities will be increased to, to make more of the ADA standards, and we're not going to continue to make the investment into a building that ultimately we don't own. Uh, do we have any idea of what the cost of renovations will be tomorrow? Um, I mean, we know there will be some, I would imagine there will be. And where would we plan to get that money from? The only immediate renovation that would need to be made, and uh, Mr. Kern's been there, uh, Commissioner Maddox has been there, Chad's been there, who well, else? Sheriff's been there. The the uh, <coughs> the entryway carpet needs to come up and be replaced with something that doesn't get soiled and nasty like it is. Uh, and to start out, we could clean the carpet as far as that goes. That's the only immediate renovation I saw. To the <coughs> uh, everything else is functional. Uh, it it definitely helps the sheriff's department with an outside entrance. Uh, it helps uh, Nancy's office with the drive-through. Uh, and like Mr. Gibson said, it, it gets us out of paying for a building that, paying for repairs and maintenance on a building that we don't own. Uh, if, if you've been, if you've not been to the city county building in Church Hill, you really need to go. The ADA parking is sloped uh, when, <laughs> when, uh, 
Sarah and I went up there one day. <coughs> she couldn't hardly get out of the car, basically. Uh, I had to hold the door yeah. so I could get out of the car because the door kept trying to shut. And, and there's, you know, we could, we could get bids on flattening that out. But as Commissioner Kern said at the other night, the other morning's meeting, the road is here, the parking is here, and I don't know how you're going to flatten that out with the and not do something with the road. Mm -hmm. um, that's to me, if we try and attempt that, that's well into the six figures and, and you know probably two or three hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars. We've got a thirty thousand dollar roof. Is that right, there? Put on that I, I think the replaced. total was around thirty thousand. The roof and the gutters. Okay. <coughs> so if you the parking lot, you're going to have to put some kind of uh, ADA access in, which is either going to be you're going to put an elevator or something there to get them from the lower parking lot now that would flatten out. So, um, I mean, the, that cost would be astronomical as we continue. And, and if we take the parking lot flat, and just like uh, Mary Webb said. Uh, we're going to be responsible for tearing up the road and putting it back. So we're going to have the parking lot, the road, an elevator. Uh, you're going to have uh, the roof. Uh, there was one other repair. Gutters. The blocks. Yeah. The gathering. And all that's on somebody else's building. And I don't imagine that if we replace the carpet, we're not talking to the park. Yeah. 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 You know, if we put something down besides carpet, that wouldn't get that dirty no. again. But. And to answer your question, to add to that, when you go in the lobby of it, mm -hmm. you got offices everywhere. I mean, you could walk in there, and other than the carpet, do nothing. It's ready. Yeah, the offices so are ready for the ready. occupancy. Okay. Uh, you know, and it's it's been... Sarah and I talked to, to Mayor Deal, he's <coughs> running by the BMA. They think it's a win-win. Uh, they would be able to put a handicap access door on the bottom floor, and their offices are down there. They wouldn't have to have an elevator. Uh, they, they've run it through the BMA, and the BMA is 100% behind it, from what I understand. Uh, it, it, it's basically a win-win. Like I said, I can't tell y'all what to do, but I do would like to have it move forward somehow, or for you know something to tell them at Great Bank as to how we're how we're thinking. The other thing we need to think about uh, there's got to be patient with Mr. Crawford's retirement, right? So that's going to take a local out of it, and that might take this bid off the table if we don't move on. I mean, I'm just. With that, with that timeline on it, then will that be something that are you looking for this from this committee today a vote to send it in January or for an hour or a resolution? Send it to January, I would imagine. Uh, Ms. Davis, would there be, uh, you, would you anticipate needing any additional staff if you move into that building? No, I have three full time staff up there, and I think that's out. <coughs> Question Would that building increase your ability to offer services over the building that you're in right now? Oh, yes. And, you know, I think the accessibility with that building up there, I mean, you can't compare it to where we are now. Not just the parking, the very small lobby area. So, you know, during COVID, we cut it down, hopefully, to three people at a time. And three people at a time in there is really all should have ever been in there. Um, because it's very, very tight. And if you get more than that, <coughs> then everybody else has to stand out in the hallway and that would inhibit people coming into the building up there for city business. And also as a safety issue, I mean, there's, there's several safety issues up there um, for the safety of the employees as well as, as keeping the office secure. And I think that uh, with the drive-through, that has been a godsend down here. Oh yeah. It's if we were to run into sickness again, or if they are short staffed, and you got the drive-through, and uh, they can operate that way. Mm -hmm. So I think it, once again, uh, there's the positives definitely outweigh the negatives. Plus, there's actually a true vault in that building. Um, something we don't have right now—a true vault. 
Mark, you said that they did offer it to us for over $100,000 last one that got it listed. Well, they listed it, they have it listed for six fifty five. It's not a hundred thousand less, five eighty five is what they and, and and I would I would think we might negotiate a little bit further down on that. Have I, we made any other counter offer? No, because I haven't had any direction to do that. <laughs> um, you know, I could call Frank and talk to him, you know, based on what you all say today. Uh, I, I put I put five fifty in the suggested ARPA column, but you know that's not a true figure because five eighty five is a true figure right now. I say we make all five fifty. Do you make that motion? Yes. I'll second that. <coughs> five fifty. Yeah. A kind of <coughs> Excuse me. Would you go on to a minute to allow the mayor to negotiate to 560? Yes. Just to give you, make the offer to 550 with pre-authorization to negotiate up to 560? Okay. And then whatever the figure ends up being, we'll put it on the January resolution. Okay. Does that work? Okay. I got a first, I got a second, I any more discussion? Sir, make sure that that is noted that way. That And negotiate the yeah. offer at 550 with even the mayor's option to negotiate up to 560. And the money's going to be from the ARPA money yes, that's supposed to be funded. And if Frank's watching this online, then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <You're>, uh, <laughs> he already knows. Your bargaining power <laughs> is affected by that. <laughs> <laughs> that's some trouble with democracy, I guess. <laughs> Yes. Ms. Chairman, we have six yes. Motion carries. 